towards the end of the race, we got a problem with our gearbox, um, you know, which, which uh, was one thing. I just spoken to Raul Buzel before I got back into the car and uh, Raul already, uh, I told him what happened. He says, well, I shift from second to third and then it jumped out of gear and then from third to fourth and it jumped out of gear and then all the gears were gone. So I thought, okay. And then uh, he just told me that before I went in for the last couple of hours, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, that was sort of ringing in my head. And then I was driving the car and I put in uh, from second to third and it jumps out of gear. So it was like a big, uh, thing because for me I felt like it's impossible we can't lose this race uh, second to third jumps out of gear third to fourth and it engages so it was locked in gear and I at that moment with Raul sort of ringing in my ear like had that the whole box uh, blew up then uh, I didn't touch the gear lever anymore uh, and I made sure that that uh, you know I didn't stress it very much with full throttle or lifting off very rushed uh, very rough, you know, so I was very smooth and tried to just trundle it around. After that we had a pit stop and when they saw me leave the pit in fourth gear, and fourth gear is long in Le Mans, um, when they saw me leave the pit in fourth gear with slip and clutch, they knew there was some kind of trouble, but you know, I didn't tell them and it was good that they understood not to ask any further because then we would have, uh, you know, woken up the sleeping dogs. So. Uh, and then later on, I heard that when they took the gearbox apart, uh, the secondary shaft was split in the middle, was broken. So maybe if I would have changed one gear, uh, then, then the whole thing would have fallen apart. So we were very, very lucky.